Good morning, guys. So, woke up really early today. It's still dark out here. Uh, for breakfast, I just came out the kitchen. I have myself two whole wheat breads, three whole eggs, and some ketchup. I use, of course, Pam's to, you know, fry the eggs. And I added ketchup in the end. I did not weigh it. For those of you that eat a lot of ketchup, please weigh that because it does add up. I must say this in every video. Right now, it's, let's see what time it is right now. It's 4.35 in the morning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk maybe about two miles outside, or maybe three, because I am going to Florida supposedly Sunday, so a couple days from now, with my older brother I'm going to Florida, so I want to have, I want to be a little bit lean, show you guys current progress video of how I'm currently looking, and now I'm getting walking, let me get out of here. Check it guys, this is me at 160 pounds at 5 foot 8. Now this conditioning is what I want to maintain all year round. This is where I'm happy at. I got good energy, my workouts are good. All I have to do is just keep up progress, you know, take pictures every couple days, uh, post some videos, some flexing videos on YouTube, and just keep an eye on my progress and just look at my conditioning. Once I start getting smooth, that lets me know that I have to lower my carbs or lower my total calories and go back down just a little bit. I want to maintain lean and just add solid muscle, not just a mixture of, you know, a lot of fat and muscle. That that way I don't have to cut as long and I don't have to worry about it focusing more on building muscle and less on cutting. That way I could spend at least a whole year or at least 8 months putting on size. Just finished walking about 40 minutes outside, going to go inside, cook a meal, low carb of course. For this full day of eating and then i'm gonna meet with my client and friend rich teach him a couple things he's been trying to get show ready uh, just for the hell of it and you know he's, he's he was pretty fat and now i'm gonna go over there meet up with him after i'm done cooking and let's see what time is it right now it's 5 46 so i got a long day ahead of me oh this is gonna suck for this meal, I use chicken breast, hunt diced tomatoes, mustache seasoning, black ground pepper, and adobo goya for some flavoring. Uh, red onions, green chives or green onions, and one little small garlic. Tap it. And time to cut the chicken breast. I like to cut it nice in small little pieces. Way much easier to eat than a big fat chicken breast. So try to cut it as small a piece as you possible. Then I added the mustache. Use as many as you want because it's so, zero sodium and it won't bloat you. So that's a good thing. And then I just you know chopped up my green onions. I measured my hunt sauce in grams. That way I know exactly how much I'm getting. For, I use about almost 200 grams. And I had everything ready before I started cooking. That way... It's a lot faster and easier to get everything ready. And I also use Parmesan cheese. Of course, I weighted it just to be exact and sure. I use a pretty fair amount. That way, when I finish everything, everything is nice and, you know, nice and cheesy. And it's still low carbs. So I added Pam Spray, uh, my red onions, and the little uh, garlic clove that I had. And then I, you know, mix the chicken all up. The chicken already has water, so it's, it's going to spurt out water. And that way it doesn't stick on the on the on the plan and you know I just mixed it all up and added some adobo seasoning and that that's going to give it the flavor guys and the ground pepper as well so definitely add that and you know just mix it all up you could cover it add the cheese and just wait till it dries out uh, everything's going to dry out nicely that way it's not too creamy and you could also use tomato sauce instead of the tomato thing and that's the right there and I'll show you guys the total macros for this meal and it was very low carb but very high in protein i used a little bit too much chicken breast well yes just 500 calories and 16 carbs guys this is the kind of meal you can eat every single day just because it tastes amazing now guys like right now i'm thinking about 2017 already you know i had a hiccup i have a little hiccup you know 2016 winter 2015 winter uh but you gotta learn from it i'm learning from that shit right now I'm planning ahead guys I'm preparing for 2017 already preparing my summer because I'm gonna make all kinds of gains all kinds seriously man you gotta plan ahead guys whatever your goal is if you're not planning ahead I already have everything you know I'm already taking it one day one day at a time I'm hitting my meals every day because 
I know that one week or one day could turn into a habit and you start, you know, you start getting further away from your goals. So just make every day count because things, time goes like this, man. 2015 winter, 2016 winter, it just like hit me in the nuts, man. Ooh, ow, yeah, fuck, yeah, man. That shit hit me in the nuts and it just passed by like that. And I slowly forgot what my goal was because I didn't, I didn't take it one day at a time. You have to take it one day at a time. And on top of that, the meals that I'm bringing you guys, well, the meals I'm bringing myself because I'm eating them shits, you know, I'm recording and I'm, I'm eating it. And, you know, I'm sharing it with you guys as well. It's delicious, man. That's something I, I learned. If you don't enjoy what you eat, you're not going to stay on that diet for long, man. You're just going to say, you know what? This shit ain't worth it. But when you're eating good, you're eating healthy, but it's delicious, it's easy, man. It's easier. Well, easier, a lot easier. You know, right now, I'm maintaining a well, 10% body fat. I'm, I don't want to get shredded. A part of me, of course, does want to get shredded because I'm addicted to that shit. I like aesthetics. I want to be aesthetic just for me, you know? But I want to maintain 10% body fat, add mass, and then worry about cutting maybe in June next year. You know, i never done a real lean bulk because I'm always fucking up. You know, most of us are always fucking up. Uh, but you gotta learn, you gotta, there's a time we have to just be like, all right, I made this mistake this year, this year. Let me remember that time flies and I can't be fucking up like that. So this right here is my boy Rich with them big ass biceps. Let me see you do some chin ups, man. Let me see what you got. Let's go, baby. It's one. It's two. It's three. It's four. It's five. It's six. It's seven. Let's go, Rich. Get it, Rich. Look at the man, yo. So here's another low carb meal that you guys could try. Uh, instead of using pan spray, just add some water. That way your chicken is uh, boiling and you save on fats and more calories. And then just get you know some cucumbers, vegetables, and you know just while that that's cooking, you know you chop it up a little bit. And for those of you that eat a lot of vegetables and you're trying to lose weight and you're struggling, only if you're struggling, I suggest that you wait it because. You could easily be eating, like I always say, it's, you know, easy 50 calories to 70 calories per meal. And that could add up uh, and may maybe stop you from uh, losing weight. And I always have some white rice in my house ready, so I, I waited four ounces, you know, just a little bit. Add a little bit of uh, water since it was very, very cold and hard. Uh, when you add a little bit of water and you heat it up, it softens up again and it tastes just amazing. And then I just added some green onions that I had left over. And right there is a nice little sweet quick meal. And I'm going to put the macros on the screen for you guys. It's very low calorie and of course very low carbs for those of you that are, need to eat a little bit less to lose weight. For the last meal I used 6 ounces of steak from Wegmans, uh, 1 potato. I boiled the water first that way when I peel it and chop it up you know the water's already hot. It was about 9 ounces and you know I just threw it in there and then was... Because the potatoes take forever, man. So I seasoned my steak. I weighted it. It was almost six ounces. I used uh, adobo seasoning. Adobo is pretty high in salt. You can also get the low sodium if you if you have problem, you know, with bloating and stuff like that. Uh, I decided to use it at the George Foreman grill. You could use either a pan or a, you know or the George Foreman, or you can season both sides if you want it, you know, very very salty. And I use, I added a little bit of oregano and salt to the to the potatoes and vegetable oil, uh, just one tablespoon and some uh, Parmesan cheese that I had left over, just a little bit, just so we could give it a, a nice buttery taste. It gives your potatoes a, a lot more flavor rather than just having some dry potatoes. And then I added the chives or, gr or green onions that I had left over and that was it, man. I'll put the macros right there on the screen for you guys. Uh, another very low calorie, a little bit higher fat meal, uh, just so you can have some taste. 
so that's the total macros right there guys 20, 2022 calories 185 protein 141 carbs 68 fats could have changed my fats a little bit lower i could have you know lowered my protein since it was 184 i didn't really need that much and my calories would have been even lower like if i wanted to lose weight lose you know body fat a lot faster so just uh, uh depending on what your macros are guys you know just make the necessary changes like don't add the cheese you know things like that uh don't add the butter and if you want to be a little bit more strict and uh, with your diet uh, but just make it flexible to yourself and hopefully you enjoyed the video just uh thumbs it up like it share it with your friends and of course guys hold on to the channel man